The Bible tells us in the book of James 1.17 that every good, every, every single good and perfect gift comes from above. It comes from God the Father. The Father who created all the lights we see in the heavens the Father who created the sun and the moon and the stars and everything in the galaxies, the planets, the Father who created them all. He's the one who gives us the good and perfect gifts. And the Bible says he never changes or casts a shifting shadow. He's not like the sun that will go down or the moon that we can't quite see clearly during the day. He remains constant as the source of good and perfect gifts. I want us to thank him this morning. When we think back to the years that we can remember, our earliest memories as small children, God has given many gifts to us over the years. good in my life. It really comes from you. Thank you for the gifts you've given us on this prayer line, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, that people can come here and pray and, and pray in the Holy Ghost. All these are your gifts, Father. People can dream dreams. They can see visions. They can interpret tongues. They can interpret dreams. All these are the gifts you've blessed us with. Thank you for the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom. Thank you, Lord, for the vocal gifts, the gifts of prophecy. We say thank you for the gift of tongues. We say thank you for the interpretation of tongues. We say thank you for the gift of faith. We say thank you, Lord, for the discerning of spirits. We say thank you, almighty God, for the gifts of healing for the working of miracles. Thank you for all these gifts. Oh God, what a wonderful God you are. We thank you, Father. We worship you. You are, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. To you, we lift up the voice of thanksgiving. We are so grateful. We are so grateful. Father, I'm so grateful just now. I'm so grateful this morning. Because, Father, everything I have, it belongs to you. There is nothing I have that has not come from you. We are so grateful right now. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Goodness. This morning, Father, because the good and perfect gifts come from above, Lord, we release everything we have to you this morning. We release it to you. We are asking, oh God, have your way. We release because it belongs to you, Father. Nothing I have, oh God, that I want to withhold to you from you this morning. I'm withholding nothing. I release everything, my life, my, 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 my soul, my spirit, my body, I release to the Lord. Lord, use it for your glory. I release my husband, my children, my, my family, parents, grandparents. I release everything to you, Lord. I release it. I release, oh God, Lord, we collectively release everything to you. We release the prayer line to you, Lord. We release ourselves on this prayer line to you, Lord. Everything belongs to you. Do what you want to do, Father, this morning. In the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty Father, that Lord, whatever's been committed into your hands, you are able to keep. Your wisdom is above the wisdom we have. When you have something in your hands, you know how to use it to its maximum effect and to bring the good out of it. So Lord, we release to you. We release control. We surrender control, Lord. We lay our will down and say, not our will, but your will be done. Just like John the Baptist prayed, for he must increase and I must decrease. For you, Jesus, must increase and I must decrease. Whatever is trying to stand up and exalt itself above Christ, whatever is trying to stand up to Jesus, I lay it down, Father. You must increase and I must decrease this morning. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. We worship you this morning. Thank you, Lord, for being a wonderful God to us. Thank you. In, in Mark chapter 6, the Lord Jesus said in verse 4 of Mark chapter 6, he said, a prophet is not without honor, respect, except in his hometown and among his relatives and in his own household. 
and he could not do a miracle there at all because of their unbelief. Except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. Sometimes I find that the longer people are in church, the less they stand in awe of Jesus. Get over familiar. And even when scriptures are being read that ought to set your belly on fire, you're just like, yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. Well, well, we've heard all that before, you know. And sometimes when you look at how new believers are, when they come to Christ, they're excited for every word. They are able to honor Jesus because they, they are not over familiar with him. Jesus said the prophet is not without honor. He's not without respect, except in his home, hometown and among his relatives and among his own household. Why? Because they are over familiar. They're like, well, I know him. I know him. You know, they're not interested. And sometimes we can be like that with Jesus. He's been around us for so long that even when he enters the prayer meeting, you don't even know he's there. Even when his spirit is speaking, you're just like ignoring the spirit. You know, I want us to pray this morning. Heavenly Father, forgive me for any way I've lost my sense of honor for you and for the Lord Jesus and for the Holy Spirit. Anytime I've become over familiar with your presence, I pray for mercy, O oh God. And today, Lord, I repent of it by the blood of Jesus. Wash me, Lord, from any sin of dishonor. Any way I've become too used to your word that when the verses are being read, I'm not excited anymore. I'm not jumping up. I'm not going glory. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord can do. I'm just like, oh, Oh, yes, oh well, whatever. I've seen this scripture before. Father God, we pray for mercy. Anyway, we've become over familiar with your word. Oh God, we, we have taken your word for granted. Instead of reading the word and being excited every day that this is the God that I serve. Oh, this is the mighty one of Israel. Father Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Anyway, I become over familiar with you. Anyway, Jesus, I've dishonored you. I've dishonored my king. I've dishonored my father. And we just walk about like, you know, anything is just you business as usual. Lord, we pray for mercy. From today, Lord, reignite the sense of awe, reignite, oh God, the sense of honor that Lord, I know that I know that my God is awesome. My God is mighty. King Jesus, you are worthy of honor. You are worthy of respect. Holy Spirit, you are worthy of respect. You are worthy of honor in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your mercy by the blood of Jesus. We receive cleansing this morning. From every way we've dishonored you and treated you as if you're ordinary, we repent. Let the blood of Jesus be applied to our sin and the consequences of our sin. Every other thing in our life, Father, where we've not glorified your name, we repent. We repent this morning. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us in the name of Jesus. And where the Holy Spirit has spoken, and we began to backtrack because maybe of how people responded or because of how, you know, our flesh responded. Father, we repent. Any instructions Holy Spirit gave us and we backtracked. We repent of it, Father, this morning. We pray for mercy. Holy Spirit, anywhere we've grieved you, Lord, have mercy on us and speak to us again. In the name of Jesus, have mercy on us. And then the Bible says in Mark um, 6, verse 5, he could do not, not even a miracle in that place. Not because he was powerless. King James says there he could do no mighty work. He could do no mighty work. Not because his power left him. But the Bible says because of their unbelief. We're going to pray. Lord, any mighty works that I've stopped you from doing because of my unbelief, I repent of it. I repent. Any mighty works, miracles, signs and wonders that you would have done, but I've limited you because of my unbelief. I repent of it this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus. We repent. We, we stand in the gap even on behalf of the whole body of Christ, the church. Where as a body we've, 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 we've limited you father. We've stopped you King Jesus from doing mighty works. We repent of it this morning. We are asking this morning, Lord, 
Show us your mercy. Show us your mercy, Lord. Oh, rabababa sekendele bakura basia. Let the blood of Jesus be applied to our sin and the consequences of our sin. Show us your mercy. Show us your mercy, Lord. Show us your mercy. Oh, show us your mercy, oh God. Anyway, we've limited you. We've limited your glory. We've limited your power. We've stopped you from doing mighty works. We pray for mercy this morning. Have mercy on us this morning, Father. This morning, we reposition ourselves. We reposition ourselves by faith, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Mark 11, the Lord Jesus sent his disciples and he said to them, go into the village in front of you and immediately as you enter it, you will find a donkey's colt tied, which has never been ridden by anyone. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you doing this? Say the Lord needs it and immediately he will send it here. So they went away to the village found the cold tide outside the gate and the rest is history. You and I, we are that donkey this morning. Jesus needs a ride into my town. Jesus needs a ride into greater Manchester. Am I willing to bring him in triumphantly? Because the donkey carried Jesus in a triumphant entry, in a victorious entry. You're going to ask the Lord this morning, Whatever ropes are tying me down and stopping me from serving you, Lord, this morning, let there be great deliverance because Jesus is able to deliver me from whatever is stopping me from allowing Jesus to get a triumphant entry in my town, in my city, wherever I am in my nation. You're going to pray to Jesus this morning. Lord, whatever is tying me down. I don't know what it is that causes me to disobey Holy Spirit. Is it a generational issue? Is it that somebody said there are no evangelists in this family? There are no um, prophets in this family. There are no pastors in this family. There are no workers of righteousness in this family. Whatever it is that is stopping me, oh God, from serving you 100% this morning, oh God, let the chains be broken. Let the rope be broken. Whatever is tying me down, oh Riyama Sanda, is it the thing? of the world is it the worries of the world whatever is choking the word and causing it to be unfruitful this morning holy spirit release us release us oh god for this reason the son of god was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. Be loosed, be loosed, be loosed. Masokondoria baba baba regete tete te bosi robo bobo bobo si kantolo boro bobo jandila mazando robo si oria mama mama se kende re bosi oria mama zuva tula mazeva kuza balega do sobre de leba oria mama mama se kete te brodo sufre do sobre gede oria mama 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 se kete te brake te le bosi mazu dende le le brodo sun tere leba mazu tele le brodo sun brake te le baba. Mazuvre dos cabalegado som prega de leba. Mazun de lelebrado som prega de leba baba. Java zuva kusa valagado so frega de leba baba. Mazuvre dos cabalegado so condolo bredosi. In the name of Jesus, Father, let every man, every woman on this prayer line be loosed. Let them be loosed, oh God. Let them be loosed, oh God. Whatever is tying them down, oh, let them be loosed, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Let them be loosed. Oh, Riyama Santa Labalabo. Zivrado Sokondolobo. Whatever it is, oh God. Loose them and let them go. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Riyama Santa Labosi. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When we look at that donkey that the Lord was going to ride on, the Bible says that donkey had never been ridden by anyone. But you and I, there's been times we've been ridden by the devil and other powers, ancestral powers, ancestral spirits, different things. We're going to pray. Father, every legacy of serving anything other than you, I am asking today, let that legacy be wiped out from me and my family and my bloodlines. Whatever would still lay claim to me. You know, I find like in some families, people get gifts, you know, they're able to dream even without baptism of the Holy Spirit. They can dream dreams, they can see visions, but that dreaming doesn't come from Holy Spirit. It's coming from a history and a family of uh, divination where divination spirits were entertained. Some people in their families, they have gift of healing, but that gift is not a gift of the Holy Spirit. It's coming from a different altar. And you know, in future, those things, they try and rise up and begin to block the flow of God. We're going to ask God, Father, whatever has used my family, my bloodline in times past, that is not Holy Spirit. I renounce all ties with it. And I'm asking, oh God, let that legacy, let that legacy of serving another thing that is not God, let that legacy be cut off by the power of the Holy Spirit. So whatever would want to still lay claim on us as children and servants of God, let there be a cutting off right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be no power, no altar that can claim your name, that can claim your service. I refuse to be ridden by anything else, even the works of the flesh. I refuse to be ridden by the works of the flesh. The Bible says the works of the flesh, they are obvious. They are made manifest and we want nothing of them. We want nothing of it in the name of Jesus. I don't want to be associated with the works of the flesh or anything like that. I don't want to be associated with the things that were going on in my family line. Oh God, before they knew Christ, I refuse it. Anything that doesn't come from God, nothing's going to use my life. I refuse it. In Galatians 5.19, the Bible says the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, pride, these things. We don't want any of it in our lives. Nothing of these things will be able to ride on us in the name of Jesus. Whatever used to be in my family, oh God, I will not allow it to ride on me. I cannot be their instrument. I cannot serve them in the name of Jesus. I refuse it. Father God, by the power in the blood of Jesus, cut off, oh God, anything that has ever been worshipped in my family. Cut it off. Cut off anything that has ever been, oh God, in a position of authority in my family. Cut off, Lord. Even anywhere I've allowed the flesh to rule my life. Cut it off, oh God. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus thank you father in the name of Jesus you know the Bible helps us to understand that the Holy Spirit dwells inside of us hundred percent the same power that brought Jesus out of the grave hundred percent is inside of us he didn't give us like, oh no, I'm just going to give them 5%. Holy Spirit, 100% is here. And you know, I always say this and you know, even the book that God helped me to write, I put it in that book. 
that why is it that you've got Holy Spirit 100%, but the output doesn't look like 100% Holy Spirit. But you know, Spirit of God is dwelling in our spirit. But we have a soul. Any way that we've been making soulish decisions, Lord, we repent of it today. Any way, oh God, that the soul has been ruling and reigning. Father, we repent of it this morning and this morning we submit our soul willingly to the spirit. Holy Spirit, I know you are here inside each and every man, every woman on this prayer line. I know you are here in the inside of them. This morning, Father, collectively, we invite you, Spirit of God, to be at the forefront to be at the forefront, no more soulish decisions, no more living from the soul. We want to live from the spirit. Let out of the belly of every man, every woman on this prayer line, let the river of the spirit begin to flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let our soul begin to prosper this morning. We call for the flow. Zendele nenima zundele mahandeleba zumanigado sobregu skabaleba sunda uzevredu skabalegado zumbredeba zembregedeleba korea ma zembregedeleba ma zunterere brado sokondo daba una ma zekede de bregedeleba siya ma zovredu skabalagado siya oria ma 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 korea basanda ligado sobregedeleba korea basinda ligado sobregedeleba korea masanda legado sobregedeleba korea basanda ma zugeduna ma korea masinda. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you this morning. Let every soul on this prayer line begin to prosper. Let the light of the spirit, oh God, flood our soul. No more making soulish decisions. Let every decision be by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. As we enter the new season, oh God, you're taking us into. We want to enter by the spirit, not by our soul, not by what we think, but what the Holy Spirit thinks in the name of Jesus. Let our soul prosper. We will not limit the Holy Ghost inside of us. We know Holy Spirit. You're all powerful. You're almighty because the Trinity, no member of the Trinity is less than the other. We have God's spirit inside of us. We know God. You are capable of more than we've allowed you to do in our lives. This morning, Lord, we say, have your way in the name of Jesus. Finally, as we round up this morning in Isaiah 40 from verse 28, I'm reading Amplified Bible. The Bible says, do you not know? 
Have you not heard the everlasting God, El Olam, the Lord, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, Elohim, does not become tired or grow weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives strength to the weary and to him who has no mighty increases power. I want us to pray this morning and ask El Olam, Yahweh Elohim, Lord, I know you never grow tired and I know your spirit is inside of me. Father, give me strength because you give strength to the weary and to the one who has no might to increase power. Lord, increase power in my life. Increase power in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, give me strength. Give me strength this morning. I am praying to El Olam, the everlasting God. I am praying to Yahweh, the self-existent God who nobody created, who was before the beginning began, who will forever be. I am praying to Elohim, my creator, the one who knows how my human body functions, the one who is my designer, and I receive strength, strength in the inner man, strength in the inner man. Wherever, oh God, we have not displayed might where the enemy has flexed his muscles against your children. This morning, Father, increase power, increase power, increase power, increase power. As we wait upon you this morning, Father, you say those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. You say they renew their strength. Lord, let every man, every woman on this prayer line renew their strength. Even those who've been sick, those who've been on the sick bed, who have spent days, oh God, lying down because of one health challenge or the other. Let them rise up this morning. Let them rise up, oh God, renew their strength. Let them mount up with wings as eagles. All of us will run and not be weary. We will walk and not faint. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we receive strength. We receive strength in the inner man. We receive strength for the race ahead. Strength even for 2022. We receive power, Lord. Increase power. Increase power for 2022. We receive it, oh God. Oh, we thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Blessed be your name, Father. Thank you for strength. Thank you for power. Thank you, Father, for your help. Yes, we thank you. Blessed be your name forevermore. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen.